He dropped a 10 bomb in a single game. Sneaking on up. Hunting Painful. his prey. For it. To time the animal here today. Great right? play, right. man. So he cuts him down a quick burst. Back to tilt of Nick Merck. I mean, how, how do we not punch this? this oh, is, you have to. Yeah, this, you is, have to. this is fantastic. Like, Static is still the third player in this engagement, and I believe they all know that they're in there. They're watching. They're looking to see who's going to make a move first, maybe catch somebody rotating or, or not watching out a window. Tilted is very, very, uh, it, it, you're exposed. There are so many angles because all the different windows and the positions you can see through them. That's why we've seen Aiden peeking through windows of those builds on the outside, just trying to take shots and use the pillars in the middle as like a, a separator. It's natural cover. Morgoss. C4 from a, a third opponent there gets the shots from above. Almost gets the elimination. Nice field. Gets one. Ooh. A great Pitch kill. Flower from Rogue goes down. Morgoth's pushing down, trying to get the double. He sees this player rotating around the outside. He had just been uh, he'd been dealing HP damage. There it is. Woo, shake it up, baby. Gets nice double. Two eliminations. One more oh. means a point. Back and tilted. Courage. Uh, but these guys, they're gonna they're gonna go after each other here. They have to. There's no way. There, there we there go. There it is again. I mean, this is what it's all about, folks. Nick versus Aiden. Aiden 2, Nick 0 so far in the fights. I know Nick has family here watching a lot of people this weekend wanting to see how he can perform. This is probably... Nick has had such a long competitive history in esports. This is probably the biggest tournament he's ever been in. And here it is, the battle again. We've seen this before. Here it goes. Round number three, Aiden peeking the corner. It's Nick building the ramps. Aiden getting the wall in front, just to make, trying to make sure he, he's covered and can have some quick edits on out. There's another close ramp. Expect a quick rotation on it. He's going to have footsteps. He knows Nick's up on top. Yeah. Nick's got the high ground now, and I think he'll kind of reset to the top of this new building. There is still Ecstatic just standing still in the big gray building. If you don't move, they can't hear you, Jack. Both these players so healthy in this fight. The last time we saw Aiden versus Nick, it was Nick with only 100 HP. I believe there's a slight health advantage for Aiden at the moment. Probably about 10 HP difference. I'm so nervous. I'm so, I'm so nervous. But Nick is back in Big Gray where there is still ecstatic hiding behind one of these doors. You notice he hasn't even moved. He's barely turning and not even really weapon swapping. I think ecstatic at this point is in those that both Nick and Aiden are here. He's waiting for this fight to play out and Nick you see, he's looking around the corner. He's watching and saw the rotation. He's going to try and get a uh, top-down surprise here. Maybe drop in the shotgun coming out. Shotgun and swap, oh swap to the dualies. You can hear him moving around underneath the audio <laughs> tracking these players. It's just... It. Ecstatic is close by Nick right now. He's, like, right behind one of these walls. Back over to Poach, though. We've got to show some love to the other players, too. Poach trying to build on up. So a little bit of a fight. One player just below him right now. Mighty bank. I love this. Banking the frag grenades off the wall. They'll fall right at the bottom of the structure. And here comes the build battle. Poach trying to keep up. Actually gets pyramided by the opponent over his own build. And Posey cuts down Landjock. That's Posey's third limb of this game. Spray from that blue, uh, the blue drum gun. One of the most favored weapons we've seen uh, in scrimmage, you know, competitive games. Oh, Poach Posey wants very low. Poach has got Poach push. wants this he fight. Knows. He's hunting right now. Poach for his second limb of the game. Can he break through this structure? Posey just trying to heal with this campfire. Coach wants this player dead. Can he get the high ground? The pyramid block for the moment. He heard you, you hit that sound of the uh, Nick died? His opponent hitting the dirt down there. He knows he dropped all the way down. He's going to take advantage of that and drop in. He's going for the replace every single time, but Posey's blocking it repeatedly. He's trying to put down the pyramids, the, the ceilings, anything to stop Poach from getting in and uh, taking advantage of the low HP. And what that does is Poach still knows he has an opportunity to be aggressive. He knows Posey must be missing what? a lot there. And the rotation out, it looks Posey like. Posey just ran on out. Wait, this was Nick Merckx. Low on HP, in a little bit of a fight. How Dude, does it end those here? Those static What? Nick. And you see, Bro, he just point blank thought that guy with dualies and didn't hit a shot. You're saying Ecstatic was hiding in that build for so, so long. Nick Merckx with an early exit yet again. It looks like the player that Poach took shots at that was uh, to his southeast might have been a third player in there. He oh, yeah, that's an easy, there, that's easy. Ownership that was such a great team. play from Poach, man. I can't believe he didn't expect that. Very, very, very patient that from Poach. So got, mm. uh, sorry, from, from Poach there. Never went into Go Poach. Poach's build. He knew he had time, and he still has the launch pad to get away. Like you said, Posey did have three eliminations. That's a single point for him. Nice actually right now has three limbs. Uh, Morgoss has three limbs, and Blue T has three. That's a, a single point for each of them.
Feel really good about that. Looking forward to the rest of the day. A number of players still alive. Saf, Poach, and Ecstatic all Jack sitting might just on died two. In the zone. Jack might just died in the zone. No. There's Ranger. the quick elim. Securing that elimination. We actually watched Ranger uh, in his qualifier. Ranger might have to drop of, something. Uh, solid gatekeeping of the river. Yep. It's good to see him get in and get Release still win as well. the river. And it begins. The little structures, the little huts, the one by ones. It has started. Minigun, though, being sprayed at a Kayun who's dropped all the way down to the side of this mountain. Dremen is close by as well. Who's that spray? Babe Jesus, I believe, from Temp. Uh, from Temp of Storm. Oh, rip to go. He's out of there. He wants to follow this up right away. He's going for it. Drops him. Not a whole lot of HP. But he's playing very aggressively. I think the thought is that Minigun would have torn through of his course, opponent's right. material. Well, he, he can't layer up against me anymore. So, you know, a heavy shotgun right into the drum gun. That that back and forth combo and players like... Uh, well, what about Money T who's in one of these mobile shots ones. on that? He can get the elimination if he pushes. He can catch this player unable to build. Replays Bizzle, Wheats, J. Cuddy all... Hanging out north side of Fatal Fields, very populated. A lot of these, those angled stairs. Yeah, we've seen that before. When you see players do that, Jack, what are they doing with that? Uh, well, basically, the way you're running, so you don't have to lose your momentum with your with your sprint. You angle the stairs to basically block the area that the shots are coming in from. You use it as cover. You're not having to awkwardly jump back and forth and swap and spin around. It's just kind of a clean way to build right across. It uses kind of the least amount of materials, too. Aiden's still in this. Going to bounce pad and try to follow up his opponent. That's Ecstatic, who actually eliminated Nick Merckx. I think Aiden, <laughs> Aiden saying, hey, hey, that's that's my job so far today. I want vengeance now, my friend, as he'll fall on down and reset the fight. Kling is potentially pushing him out. So he's looking for a better opportunity and and any materials. He's very low right now uh, for this this time in the game. A minute 30 remaining before the next circle. He's going to go for a jump shot here, but his opponent ecstatic walling off against him, just preemptively defending himself, knowing Aiden is very accurate at close, trying to get an angle. That little peak, look at the little what? hole. He's trying to take shots through. Aiden might have to layer up the other side right now, but he's not going. He's going to go for the shot and then block it off. Any sort of like, uh, well, just take that single second, that 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 millisecond almost, and get the shot through. You see Ecstatic, no, he knows the hole's still there. Knows Aiden's still underneath. Not for many, dude. 19 health. Aiden's his engagement. Just the right timing is going to be key here. Here it comes. Aiden low materials pushing in the shot on Ecstatic, and Aiden gets the elimination. And that would have been for three limbs if Ecstatic could have gotten it. Aiden's still so healthy in this fight. Players One player just above. In. The quick edit out. Looks like Aiden's lost the high ground for now. Jukes out, and he's going to break down the structure. The opponent drops Aiden with the limb. That's, That's three. three. That is three. And what's this? A oh, oh, the like nades. At that point, Aiden started to build a defense. There might be a, another what am I doing? <laughs> FPS from CLD takes tendons out just south of Salty Springs. Yes, we saw some of those. Yeah, apparently it secured his second elimination, one away from a single point, and he is sitting on uh, quite a few spray weapons. There's an LMG, which you don't see too often, uh, but players up close, that thing tears him up. He's got Blue T above him, who may not realize, but look at Blue T's materials. Nice, man. Yeah, over 2,000. He has so many builds. He's got a blue drum gun. Decent. Decent. <laughs> decent, to say the least. He's got the ability to rotate away now because he can just layer up as he's as he backs up. He does have the, uh, the rock launcher. Explodes right now. Uh, maybe not... I guess it's time to use them. Usually you see those save for late games. They're very good at dropping structures, especially when the players are playing slow. He's no going traps. for the trap. Oh, just lost the high ground at a moment's notice. And yeah, he immediately loses it, falls right back down. Not sure exactly who he's battling Bro, right here. That was a heavy. 39 HP, though, how quickly it all ends. And now he's in the low gravity zone. I believe that's Blue T's in a 1v1 against right now. It's just going around the rotation. South side of the tree, using the tree's cover, misses the shot. He's, He's got to defend right now, 6 HP. I think he knows the end is near. Blue T hunting his opponent. He might just die to the zone. He's got bandages, and it's not ticket for enough necessarily to beat it. If he popped the bandage early, you see it, yeah. FPS going for that bandage. Every little bit counts. Blue T's saying, I'm waiting. You haven't, yeah, I haven't seen you on the feet of the storm Ooh. yet. The third player is somebody watching from a distance taking shots. Nice gets at, uh, Amon's in the feed. 20 meter snipe Bang. shot. Very close range snipe shot. Blue T, three eliminations. 
39 players remaining, 20 seconds till the zone finishes. And it's going to be time to uh, mix it up a little bit more. Goss right now sitting on four eliminations. Nice with four eliminations. Luti at three. Aiden at three. Uh, oh Sam boy, at three. Nice, All dude. five of those players still alive and points for each of them. Posey. The FBS just lost to the Storm, so there Blue. it goes. Luti not able to get that a limb. Is already at three, though, so can't be too, too upset. Here's a look at your full scoreboard. A lot of players at the top still in this. As we say, it actually, Nice gets dropped. You see oh, Lon right there. But Aiden's still at three. His teammate is Ghost Sap still alive. Aiden's still Oak alive. At two. Nate Hill is at two. Some big names at the top of these scoreboards right now. Is Turner alive? Now, hopefully before too long, there's a number of players we haven't had our eyes on too much. Just the, the feed has been quiet with them. Yeah, yes, he feels like I was literally about to say his name, and lo and behold, here we are. You got a top down on Caillou now. He's, if he's been watching the feed from previous games, he's seen Caillou has eliminated a number of high caliber players with uh, with ease almost. Uh, Poach, Chap, uh, a, lot, a lot of big names. Three he's, plays uh, as well. Three plays, yeah, ex exactly. I, I, would, uh, I would be concerned if you know you run into him. Quick little spray for Morgoth there. So many materials. And four limbs, three med kits. Morgoss is everything you've ever asked for. You see, just on your screen alone, Bizzle, 72 hours, Chap. Here's replays at max AP. Here's an update on Aiden where he stood up to this point. Oh my oh, god. Shot from Snood there, taking advantage of the swap to the SMG to spray. Why do they always down. show slow mo in nine? Still man. Still so bad for him. Though, that's three points total on the day, so yep. he, he's well ahead of uh, of many other players. And he does have half the games left today, Courage. Yo, Jay Housley, thank you for the 30 bomb, man. For his fifth to secure the second too, buddy. point would put him at four total for day. Uh, two Katie behind Jersey, our next game. Nine blind, who, has, who elim was eliminated very early this game. Uh, don't forget, 94th place uh, with a single elimination. Cry on Nate Hill, taking shots at each other. Nate knows he's got him on the outside. Just did damage, knows there's no shield left. That's why Nate's pushing, and the port port might actually catch Cryo off guard, he's looking for a rotation, nice he gets the shot, shot. and Cryon goes down. And those are the shots you just have to hit. He's got an opportunity to snap with that heavy shotgun. The prize of a golden double barrel. Oh, he, got, he gets everything. He gets the drum gun, the gold double barrel, legendary double barrel. Here's that Cryo again against Nice. Mark, There's man. the cleanup there. Ah, uh, that wall with the build, that's unfortunate. Here's Tifu and Nate Hill, teammates on FaZe Clan. Might be a fight coming here soon between the two of them. Wait and see here. He's got a hunting rifle, double barrel. This is actually a pretty common setup for a player like him. I would almost uh, drop Turner's going to burn through his mask so fast. Down. We've seen it in his hands so many times. In previous summer skirmishes, you can hear the fight underneath him, the shield. He knows the player just got eliminated. It might be time to go for a push here. Yep. Tifu just trying to spot. He's got multiple frag grenades to use. Banking them. Uh, fortunately for him, does drop down on top of that structure, which yeah, that was definitely not his plan. Now it's time to begin the launch. He's in. Oh my gosh. Down to just 19 HP. And again, he'll have to fall on back. Getting caught tunnel visioning with those grenades, not really yep. moving too much. We, we've seen, we've even mentioned other players kind of wiggling back and forth. Even if you're doing something like dropping frag grenades down below, you're going to get punished when players are watching every single structure. Knowing somebody's up there, they're going to take shots at every every opportunity they can. And for, was uh, was kind of caught off guard. Where's it done for? Not necessarily your best friend in a situation like this. You have to think the end must be near. Oh! A uh, look of oh. disappointment. On, Doing his uh, best impression of him, the tat man there as he falls to a swift, swift death. Way the road. A very wide angle shot. I thought Mitt didn't qualify. Hanging out at very close quarters. This is going to be a theme for today. People are going. For placement, knowing full well that if you get the top 10, that is even just a single point that can mean the difference between uh, 21st through 100th for 5K and uh, pushing into the larger prize pools. Plus, Dude, that is so unfortunate, man. $25,000. That buffer is insane. Sam 
of five. Elon's already two points, and the Rockets are going to come in and kind of chase him out of the structure he's built up, but he's going to layer back up. You see, even putting floors and ramps down to, to, to reinforce anything he's sitting in. That heavy sniper, I'd love to see just an edit, like a window edit, a, a quick peek, and a body shot on somebody for an Elon from Saf here. He's got the accuracy to do it. The zone's starting to push the remaining players in. Saf, the only one with five Do lock, right nice now. This game, Snood sitting on Snood's three. a great player. A very close combat fight. He's taking, like, we've seen this a bunch of times. Every opportunity for these Max players, explodes. every second. He has 18 Max explodes. explodes to use right now. 95 health in total, just staying alive, waiting on out. Now might be the time to use yep. those. Yeah, he needs to. Knockdown you can get right now. He needs to go crazy Especially with the these. higher up structures, stuff that might be connected. Yeah, he also has NATO. Oh, 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 look at the window approach. shot. Right into the window. Will it inflict any damage? No, I think there was a quick edit by the player inside that. One by one. Sap, five limbs. Oh, top bizzle, 25 dude. right now. He has the heavy sniper as well. Here's a look from the top down. Sam all the way up top. Sap using another bounce pad to try to move towards this next zone. This time he gets clipped. Looking at our scoreboard right now on our screen, Morgoth still alive with only four limbs. What I mean by four is he, he's, he hasn't moved up to that top five uh, quite yet. Nate Hill at three, Poach still at two, and Jeromach just got his first limb on the blue tee. Here we go, the storm's starting to move. We got 23 seconds until it finishes, and now's the time. Everybody, you can see, even through these these play, these, uh, these materials get placed down as they're building, they're kind of see-through still, and you can see yeah, just you knew still lines of players tempo. moving every direction. Tempo even down low going for a bounce pad just to push as fast as he can away from an engagement that he knows he's not going to win. He does have the uh, port of fort Look at the, the layer of players to the left side, middle left side of your screen. There's so many in one spot. You know these guys are going to run into each other in some way. It just it, it depends on who gets a shot on first there's so much movement and traps right now courage are going to be incredible you heard one place down because you can catch players rotating through structure and you uh -oh, don't chap, know. Chap, oh, chap, chap. Chap. had a down drop something foot layers above himself think, is that chap on the other side of this wall you see more silhouettes he's got the port of fort out maybe thinking about putting it down to try and get a drop on somebody above knock everything down he, I, I think he's doing now he's, he doesn't have time he doesn't have time He's got. He's got to make a play now. Everyone hugging. Tempo. What do you close? Is tempo, is tempo close to zone though? I think he is. Ten seconds away. Remember, top twenty. Someone just threw a port for it. And you're not happy with something you just saw. What, what was it? I, the ridiculousness of this position is it's terrifying to think half of the players are going to go down most likely during this rotation. And here we go. Oh People God, flying through the air. Nate Hill oh, getting laser no. landing outside the zone. Oh, ticking, oh, and that's going to be all she Nate. wrote for Nate oh, too far no. into the storm. And takes literally all it took was two ticks. Yep. All it took was two ticks. Rip to go. Rex just line. got Rip trapped. Rex just got eliminated by a trap. You see Chap still up under Tempo, God, those tempo, tempo traps. traps. This could be the difference between two points and zero right now. If he can make it to the top ten or find the next elimination, Sam has not left this high ground at all. Only one rocket to his name. He's got to use this wisely. Thirteen players still left. Who will secure the victory royale and twenty-five thousand dollars? Tempo's got nothing left right now. He's just hoping, Lupo, that he can make it in the top ten. A switch on over now to Ghost Fizzle. He's got one a limb, but a ton of healing in his inventory. Ten minis and a slurp, and still a lot of materials left. In the feed, you saw Poach get his fourth elimination. This is a player that thrives in these very this, yeah, close oh, combat engagements. Chap is he still alive with, like, one HP. You see, all the way down to the bottom. This is a position we've seen him in a ton of times. Gets tapped a little bit in there, but he's he he's, has an opportunity to uh, capitalize on this. Morgoth just secures got his fifth limb. elimination. That's two points. Chap making a move. Chap Super HP and goes down on the move right there. That rotation is going to be tough. Everybody's moving simultaneously. Five players left. Courage. 72 hours eliminates base soldier Jail Mock. Dies oh, to the storm. Out of mass. Poach is out of materials. He can no longer build. He's got bandages He's though. He might be able to win this fight. Down Morgoth now at six limbs, one away from earning the seventh, which would be another point for him. No, he won't. He won't be able to out heal. He level. might be able to out heal with bandages. Will we wind up trapping all these levels as people try to drop down towards him. Ten seconds until the zone begins to close. He's got bandages to work with, but it's gonna come down to a heal up, I believe, ladies and gentlemen. Who will make it out on top? Poach trying to take matters into his own hands. The storm slowly closing. 19 seconds, 18 seconds, 17 seconds. The fight's just a layer above Poach. He cannot even build up that 72 hours. His teammate getting dropped. Morgoss trades the limb. That's his seventh. Morgoss has a med kit. Som has nothing to heal with. They've made it to the top three. Morgoss has a chance to have a six-point game himself to match that of blind. Who will out-heal the most? Morgoss with another med kit. Som dropping on down, trying to spread. 
play for Goss of the 1v1. Will he get the perfect game? He does! with the victory Woo! and look at the hype seven limbs and the victory royale what a legend these guys these games, games, games are so nasty then more goss and is he phasing up all right fine i guess he, he's, he's like bang we, send over the contract see, <laughs> see you. he's waiting send over the contract please back like you said back to back six point games and we only had one during the entirety of the heat <laughs> qualifiers Does the back of his sweatshirt say one v one me playground that is incredible <laughs> It's a DM I get from you quite often, Kurt. It is. It is. Uh, but either way, congratulations to more